Good morning, everyone. It's January 2nd, 2009. And 20. It's presently about 10.35. I was supposed to go to work, but my head was spinning a little bit this morning and uh, I was still drained, drained and tired, seriously. So I, I, I text the boss and I told them that I was not gonna come. Um, I didn't feel okay and I'm gonna go see. I'm going to the clinic to go see a ear doctor, which I'll do when I come back. Today I'm just, uh, not in the mood. Not in the mood for work. Um, each holidays since the last five years, I, I always bust my ass with lottery to try to win. And I spend and I spend and I spend and I push and I push and I push. I think since the, like the worst year was last year when I spent about $300 in lottery within the course of uh, 10 days and I didn't win jack shit. not I don't like to work I like to work I like to work on project it's just that I've been working since I was uh, 16 years old which this year is going to make 30 years uh, an average lifespan someone will work uh, 30 years but usually they reach their 30 years of work when they're 60 or 55 I'm 46 years old. I've been working since I was 16 years old. Uh, among the people that watch this and my followers on Tumblr, uh, there are very, very few of them that are that had the same life path as I did. They quit school when they were young and they started working very early in their life. So this is why I'm trying to push my agenda to get the funding I need to make the project a reality the time travel project to make it to make it make it happen and go through and work on it and I, I always say it's it is it, it's going to take 1.5 years to make not like Doug Brown who took, which took him 25 years because when he started he only started with an image in mind he didn't start it with reference, people, life experience, um, all of these things that are necessaries. Me, I started with witnesses report, experience, actual parts, uh, life account. I, I had all the information needed when I started from people that actually involved in that field. And I was very lucky that some people were gracious enough to give me pointers and information about the truth about time travel. People that uh, lived in that field and they saw experience with their own eyes. Uh, I had a good couple of these. And I was very fortunate enough. adventure in that field is that there was a lot of contradiction there was a lot a lot of contradiction people are telling me that oh it's physic you need this you need that or oh it's radionic you don't need that you just need this little thing this that and uh I experimented with them all, you know, except for high power nuclear physics. But I experienced, I mostly experience everything. I made my own, I built my own device many, many times. I built multiple projects and I paid a price for that. Uh, using certain device will cause you to have bad luck. Uh, when I made 
the God's device, when I build the God's device, I search long and hard to have a symbol that would bring good fortune. And I would energize that symbol. And uh, it, it, it did its job. It literally did what it was supposed to do. My God, this is bad. I could say that, yeah, I had good time during the holiday and I'm pretty fortunate still right now. I still have a job and I still have, I'm still valued as an employee. But this year, uh, I would really, really wish that I could work on that project full time. Get the funding I need to pay me a salary and pay for the parts that I need and then work on it full time. And I could, I could slowly attract Dr. Y to come and work with me full time as well. I could, I, I wish I could persuade him to quit his job, sell his place, that would that would give him a lot of money for him to retire, and we could do that without stress. For me personally, uh, I don't live I don't live with a huge amount of stress on my back in my life. Like everybody else, I'm, I'm in a dead prison, but it's not a dead prison that I cannot surmount or control. Uh, apparently, my, my debt level doesn't suffocate the amount of money coming in. understanding that when you're in a certain lane you have to let people in you're not king of the road unless you're a big ring then you don't have a choice to merge behind or in front so this is where I am today um, I have work tomorrow that's not an issue my issue is I want to break this work. I want to work on this. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be dead at work anymore. This is my main issue with the job I'm doing right now. Is that every week when I finish working, I'm dead. I'm dead tired. And the, these last two weeks, it was nine days of vacation going on a ten day, and um, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to rest. I don't usually suffer from anxiety. I don't have any mental disorder or anything of the sort. But this morning I just wanted to sleep some more. So uh, I did woke up, I had my breakfast, I took my uh, peel for my ears. And uh, it's, uh, it's not working out. I'm not, I didn't fall asleep. So I say, might as well do the things I plan to do. People are visiting the bridge right now. It's like there's a, on this bridge before there was no pathway, but now there's one and people are enjoying the bridge now. It's pretty cool. So, this is where I am. I'm waiting for my second angel investor to come and call me and tell me that I have the money to pay you and to give you. And make Let's make this shit happen. This is what I'm waiting for. Uh, this guy that wants to fund me went through cancer hell for the last three years. And we've been working on this for three years. And uh, it's a game of waiting. And the waiting is becoming very long. Compared to last year, I don't have a job that really sucks. You know, I don't have a job that I don't like. I like my job. I like doing what I do. For me, it's a piece of cake. It's just that I'm not 25 years old anymore. If I uh, if I could time travel, not if, but when I will time travel, 
the main objective is to go to the future and get uh, a medical overall. Do, do do like doing exactly like uh, Doug Brown did, uh, doing a, a blood transfusion, a blood change, which is like they're filtering you. They're taking your blood and filtering thoroughly. It's like you're having an oil change. You have new blood inside you. Like the amount of energy there, it's, it's amazing. I've seen that in my, in my vision many times over. And the feeling is overwhelming. Some people will say like, oh, it's like taking drugs. But it's not taking drugs. It doesn't damage you. It's a renewing you. And uh, that's what I would do. That would be my first priority. Extend my lifespan. I've been, uh, in all my life, I've been trying to conserve myself, save my energy, don't wear myself out more than I am wearing out already. And uh, it's, uh, other people will say, uh, maybe you should go to the gym and exercise. You'd be, you would feel a whole lot better. Yeah, I used to be an athlete. You know, I used to have a, an excellent cardio and everything like this, but when I got married, all of this tend to went away very slowly. Then, along my path of working on my project, when I had the opportunity, uh, my passion for mountain bike came back and it wasted a lot of my money. And uh, I'm still in debt because of that. Uh, wish, I wish that my past I would have not chosen to be so passionate about mountain bike. Mountain bike never brought me anything. Not even good health. It damaged my physical body many times over. But the past is the past. Can't change that. All I can do right now is focus on what's in front of me and try to find the energy to do it. This apartment where I live, I've been living there for 19 years now. 19 years in that apartment. It's not a bad place and it's not a messy place. We do our best to keep it clean, but it's not an healthy environment. It's a, me and my wife and my sister-in-law, we need to move from there. And we need to have a discussion about and everybody else can pinch in financially to move there from there and uh, that too is one of our one of my ambitions for this year is, is to move from that dump this road is really bad it's it's brand new but i mean it's bad in the sense that they could have made it flash flat there's bump, bump and on equal ground everywhere. Today at my job I was supposed to, I was supposed to go deliver some chairs and uh, those usually are hard days. They're hard, hard works, you know, it's, uh, it's a hard day when you have to pack up your truck and uh, you have to deliver chairs. And, Sometimes you have to climb these chairs up some upstairs, multiple stairs. Like before the holidays, uh, I had to go make a delivery in uh, Laval of uh, 16 chairs and they didn't have any elevators. So I had to climb it manually. I have to climb these stairs 16 times. I was so tired during the holiday. It's not funny. I really, I really didn't enjoy my time of not being able to relax. I was just drained. It's 10.49 a.m., seriously. So, we hope 
we, we hope we're going to reach that level and uh, that my second angel investor will unlock the fund needed because right now I am thoroughly fed up and I really I really want to get this through uh, I've checked locally for a place I could do my work and uh, fortunately for me lucky me my old shop my old bicycle shop the warehouse place where I used to work is free the guy told me that he would rent me the place my old place for uh, the same price as before which was $260 a month plus I have to pay my electricity so that's not bad you know for a start you have a like 1500 square feet of space to work and there's already the guy that, that went there left all his shelvings and left everything there so it's not bad at all so I'm stuck in traffic right now the same thing that is uh, if I would have went to work <laughs> Same situation. Uh, you might wondering why I'm going to uh, so far, but it's because I want some parts, and uh, they don't have it on the South Shore, so I have to drive an hour away from home to go get the parts I needed. You don't see my eyes, but I'm sighing a lot saying what what won't I do one topic that also came back to my mind is when you're going to the pass rule number one is like you must not interfere because if you interfere in the pass you're actually you're actually breaking the path of the timeline where you are and you're creating a new timeline and unlike back to the future logic dictate that when you come back you will come back to your own timeline not the one you just change all you did was change the reality of one dimension you did not create a new dimension for yourself unless you actually stay there but that's highly highly unregarded because if you stay in the past and live your existence there you're creating a paradox where there's two of you and uh, the temporal course in nature will eventually take a correctional path and eliminate you from that timeline because they, the nature says there cannot be two of you in one place if you go to the future it's gonna be the same deal but if you go far 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 in the future and you're not there anymore it will be less of an issue that's why uh, a lot of people want to take the future road and leave that leave this dimension in this timeline and go live in the past or I mean go, go live in the future I think that if you want to go live in the past uh, there is so much diversion that you could just be a non a non consequential event in the past meaning that you could you could go live in the past like uh, the 1800 the 1700 and you would not affect the timeline if you if you're not arrogant about it and you just li go live there to be part of everyone else's life not going there and to interfere with the past seriously there must be an accident or something this is Montreal is one of the most the the highway the, the, the highway grid pattern is the stupidest design there is because you're, you're you have both highways that goes through the city 
and you both uh, express ways that goes left and right. You have east, west, north, south. And when you're crossing the north, south, there's multiple exit, but there's, they didn't correct the making new roads for the amount of car there is. So that's what the issue is. Just like in Toronto, in Toronto they, they check the way they made the highway and they say, we're going to extend here and there, here and there to make sure there's no traffic. But here they didn't do that. They just kept on repairing the road the way it was and they didn't improve it. So that's why there's so much traffic because when you're going through the highway here on the Caddy, it's coming to Vilsenada if you're going straight. But you're going on one highway and one another highway, another direction. You're going east or e west or e uh, east. And the problem with that is that they didn't make it three lane both way. They make it one lane on one direction and they make it two lane on the other direction. So the stupid thing about it is it creates traffic up on the line the moment people don't keep their distance. Because that's the cause of traffic most of the time people don't keep their distance. Everybody drive bumper to bumper and that's what's happening. It's a chain reaction of bumper to bumper and then you end up crawling and then you end up stopping. And here, unlike uh, in, uh, London and uh, United Kingdom, England, they take their sweet time when they come to pick someone. They, they take so much, so much time to pick up a car that it creates a huge amount of traffic instead of rushing over pick it up and leave I've been driving for 20 29 years and uh, I never saw a traffic incident taking less than five minutes uh, when I was in London one time uh, there was an accident it was winter time and there was an accident and it just happened in front of us and we couldn't move because it was blocking all three lanes. And the moment the towing truck came on the opposite direction of traffic, he picked up the car. The police came, they took a picture, they filmed the site, they pack up everyone and they leave. 21 minutes and it was over. The car was starting to circulate again and traffic was reestablished. 21 minutes, it was over. Here, they're gonna spend 30 minutes to 45 to almost an hour on one side. It's ridiculous. I don't need heat anymore. It's, it's one outside. Yesterday I, uh, I went to drop my mom and Richard here and uh, I went to uh, the company my workplace and clean up the truck while the snow was soft and melting. I don't think it was really necessary because it's one degree this morning and it's uh, it's still melting. It's just cold enough that it doesn't go anywhere but it doesn't turn into water. And now I'm gonna have to make up my mind if I take the highway to the left or the highway to the right. I'm in no rush, might as well go to the highway to the left. I'm in my own truck anyways. circulating in your ears and your ear act like a radiator and what happens is when this radiator gets cold 
it affects the blood flow in your ears. And what happened, it, it reduced the, the, the ability for the ear to fight infections and intruders. And uh, since the, wind, the start of the winter, I'm not a toque wearing fan. So I didn't wear my toque and uh, that's probably what happened. I probably have an ear infection in both ears. And uh, it's, my ears are making wax like no tomorrow. Every time I clean up my ears, the wax come back the next day with a vengeance. And it's hard, like very hard, hard wax. So that's going to be a very long video. And um, I made about four videos during the holiday, which I didn't post a single one of them. Because each time I say something I didn't like in the video. So on this note, I'm gonna wish you all a happy new years and I'll hope that my projects are gonna get realized. Uh, things are going to manifest themselves and uh, my ambitions and my drives and my capabilities are gonna come to fruition. Uh, they're they're going to come to serve a purpose and my project's going to come to fruition. And it's not my only project. It's like everybody else that's been behind me all the time. Uh, so I'm going to leave you on that and wish you a nice, nice and sunny bright day compared to here. And uh, hope that things will get better soon. Till we improve. Things will improve. Because uh, I can't say things will get better because they're already as good as they are. So, <clears throat> have a good day everyone. Take care.